Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Vixie, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be setting up for the week of September 6th through the 12th and I have everything already printed out that I'm going to use, including this big sheet of stickers and, or, well it's deco really, and song lyrics and stuff like that. I'm pretty much just gonna jump straight into it actually, but first I'm just gonna show you real quick what I've got here. So you may have noticed if you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen these stickers and things that I had printed. Some of them I had printed out last week actually, cause I wanted to change up everything a little bit. Uh, so I was just showing you that. So right now I'm gonna be showing you last week in this style and I don't like it at all. I do love this dashboard. I think this dashboard turned out beautifully. I just cut the piece of acetate in this particular shape and then I cut out some vinyl. Uh, I did the love symbol in vinyl. It's it's beautiful gold vinyl. And then I just did the, what is it called? The border, the border around the acetate. I did that with vinyl as well. This is one of my favorite photos of my man Prince. And then we get into the actual journal part of the week, which I don't like at all. Um, it really just didn't turn out the way I thought it was going to turn out. And it really didn't turn out at all. Like really what I had done in when I was a teen. And I would come to realize that it's probably because I really just didn't have the time. Like when I was a teen, I had all the time in the world to sit and color and, you know, letter and do like, just be really, really creative and everything. And I just don't have the time as an adult. So it just, it didn't turn out. I do not like the way this week looks. I hate the way Thursday looks looks it looks dreadful and i'm just really not happy i do like the way friday turned out though i think friday looks amazing especially i think because of all the color there's like so much going on it's just so busy and graffiti out uh, graffiti bridge is one of my favorite albums and movies actually by the way so these two vellums that i was pointing out of prince and maite they're two of my favorites Although, fun fact, like when they first got together, I was like, dude, like you can do so much, but I was so jealous. Like, oh my God, I was so jealous of them. I hated her so much. Uh, Saturday and Sunday, I hate, it looks dreadful. So I was like, well, screw it. We're just gonna start with a brand new week and I'm gonna start over and hopefully make it something better. But first I'm showing you how fat she is already. Like, I cannot believe how chunky it is already. It's like a damn sight chunkier by the time I'll be done with this month, let me tell you, because of all of the tip-ins that I'm doing for this month. So, I actually changed out my weekly overview and this is my splash page. This is a lyric by Pearl Jam from the song Black and it is actually one of my favorite Pearl Jam songs ever. And I chose the star acetate overlay uh, to go over it because of the one line where it says, you will be a star in somebody else's sky. I just thought that was perfect. And I have also gone back to using my one one page uh, weekly overview instead of the two pages I was using last month. I just found that it was way too much space for me and I wasn't utilizing all of it. And I just actually felt a little bit overwhelming. Like I was pressured to use all of this space when it turns out I really just didn't need it all. And I also decided that for the rest of the month, instead of having one artist per week, because there's only like four or five weeks or something in this month. And so that's just not enough. I just don't have enough time or space for the month to do one artist per week. Um, I thought I would do multiple artists and multiple songs. So it's basically going to be like the most listened to artists that I can remember listening to in the 90s and my favorite songs of the 90s because that's essentially what this whole month was supposed to be about anyway. It was just like all of my favorites all lumped in in one month. And I figure if I do it this way, then I've got like way more chances, like way more time, you know, because each day I can I can showcase a different band and a different song. And I'm really, really excited about it actually because this week is all like metal. Slight digression, this washi tape is by Sharina Jane. She is an Aussie store, an Aussie Etsy store. So I'll have her linked in the description. Also, I'm really sorry, you can probably hear the wind coming through my window right now. I'm really, really, it's very, very windy today, but I really just need to get this voiceover done. I'm already a couple of days late getting this out. I really wanted to get this up on Monday and that didn't happen. So I just, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for all of the noise, the wind, the possible birds, the probable birds, I should say, because I have little swallows nesting outside my window. I'm so excited. Anyways, oh, anyway, back to the tracker. So I'm talking here about the, changed my tracker that I made for this week because I initially had where it says drawing I initially had my PM skin routine there and I just realized that that's not working for me I don't do a PM skincare routine I've tried and it didn't work I just never looked at my <laughs> I don't look at my tracker before I go to bed you know and I'm usually really busy of a night time if I'm not working on doing stuff in my shop then I'm like gaming or I'm watching a movie with my kids or my husband or whatever so it's not like the skincare thing is like a big priority for me so I changed it to drawing because for those of you who don't know I started doing a Udemy uh, drawing course and I, it's a cartoon course actually, but he's teaching me how to draw a cartoon and I love this course so much. So I, and I've been practicing my drawing every day uh, and I do about, well, at, at minimum I'm doing like 30 minutes, but it's more, honestly, it's more like an hour to an hour and a half that I'm drawing every day. And um, so, yeah, I've really, really just been enjoying that. And I want to start tracking that. So as a visual, I can see, oh yeah, I've, you know, I've did my drawing every day this week or, you know, I did like three days and I need to pick it up, you know, that kind of thing. Anyway, uh, what was I saying before I digressed? Oh yes. So, um, this week is all going to be metal bands, which I did not realize were metal bands, to be quite honest. I genuinely thought 
the majority of the music I listened to was just grunge rock. Like I truly, that's what I truly, truly thought. And it was only because I was looking on Wiki for release dates just to make sure that the songs that I had chosen were actually in the 90s. Because sometimes I get a little bit conf- like if it's a really late 90s song, I can sometimes get the bands and I can get the bands confused. And so I don't know whether or not it's like really late 90s or really early 2000s. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, I was on Wiki looking up release dates to make sure that the songs were actually in the 90s. And I came to find out like all of the bands, not all of them, like a a lot of the bands that I've listened to were actually classed as metal or thrash metal or new metal. And I had no idea. I legit thought, I really honestly thought it was all alternative rock because I had no idea. So I'm just filling out a little bit of this weekly overview for the coming week uh, for things I already know are going to be happening and, you know, doctor's appointments. and And then as other things happen through the week, I'll just add them on so that I know at a glance, like when I come back to do a flip through, then I'll know at a glance what happened this week. I'm actually debating on putting a few other things in the like the dailies how I'm writing it out here for each particular day I'm actually debating on writing in a couple of other things that I would not normally add in this portion of my planner like when I started reading a book for example and then when I finished reading that book and I thought about doing this because I started a new TBR list in my planner I think it was yesterday I actually started writing all of this down oh so the tracker here that I'm about to fill out is for Monday and Tuesday But yeah, like I started a new TBR list and I also started a little couple of pages to showcase two of my favorite books that I have read very, very recently. And I had to go back and put the dates that I started reading them and then the dates that I finished. And it was like a bit of a struggle, to be honest, like because I had to go back and go through my my planner to find out exactly when it was. And it just would have been way easier to have it on my overview. So I'm thinking I'm going to add that in. All right. So today I'm doing or at the moment, actually, I'll be setting up for Monday. It's just like the bare bones for the day. I'm not going to be doing like a whole lot of deco and stuff like that, just mainly because I want this to be sort of a like a journal style entry. And it will be sort of similar to what I did last week for the Prince Week, but better, (laughs) hopefully. And anyway, right in the very beginning there, I showed you that um, I had my new daily stickers and my new task stickers. And the reason that I created those was because I wanted to section off the, like everything that I do, like in my routine. So that would be like my dailies, like everything that I do every single day. I get up, I check the kids to make sure they're awake. I feed the dog, I water my plants, you know, that sort of stuff. I wanted that to have its own separate little list. And then my task list would actually be things that, were that I needed to get done through the day. So if I had to run errands or if I had appointments or um, I I don't know, you know, stuff like that. In addition to my chore list, which I I just, I kind of just wanted to have like a bunch of different lists on the page, if that even makes sense. Um, It just, it's just easier for my eyes to look at a a section at a time and be like, okay, this was my chore section or, you know, this is my uh, dailies. This is what I do every day. Or, you know, these are my tasks for the day. Do you know know what I'm saying? Like, it's just easier for my brain to have those little sections, I guess. So this tiny little bit of washi that I'm trying to decide between right here, I got from AliExpress and I'll have the shop linked in the description. So today, Monday, I know I didn't say this yet, sorry, but today, Monday is uh, Metallica into Sandman, which was one of my favorite songs, actually. I don't even really know why, because at the time it scared the crap out of me. <laughs> it really did. Um, the little prayer, like right in the middle of the song where he says, you know, now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. And I was like, if I should die before I awake, I pray the Lord my soul to take. And I was like, what? <laughs> what? Why? <laughs> you know, I was like freaking out when I heard that lyric. And then I fell in love with the song, as I want to do, I suppose. So here I am using my actual um, daily sticker. And this is where I start to, or decide, I guess, this is where I'm going to put my routine for the day. This is just, like I said before, like everything that I do through the day. And it's, I try to have it not necessarily in chronological order, but definitely in the order in which, like all of my morning routine would be in one. And then like, I would put underneath all of that, my afternoon slash evening routine does if that makes sense but I don't usually end up putting my p.m. routine in here because generally speaking I don't really come back in the afternoon or evening to check my planner it's it's usually the next day I'll go back to the previous day and then check off everything that I've gotten done you you know what I'm saying so I don't know whether or not but then I really actually because I think last month or yeah I think it was last month I started doing a.m. and p.m. routines And I really liked, not routine, sorry, AM and PM lists. And I really liked how that turned out. So I may, I may pick that back up again going forward. But for right now, I was just sort of trialing the whole daily section and then my task session, basically just to see how that's going to work for me. And if it does, you know, great. And if it doesn't, then I'll just go back to doing what I was doing before, I guess. But that's what I like so much about the Stalogy is that it's so versatile and you can 
you can change out your layouts. Like you can change up your layouts anytime you want. If something's not working for you, you can change it the very next day. And I love that. Unless you're like me and you like force yourself to do the same thing for the whole week because you can't change midweek. I don't know. That's it's probably my ADHD thing. I don't even know, to be honest. Like I genuinely don't know. I think that's what that is. But because I don't have OCD, I've not been diagnosed with OCD. So I don't think it's that, but it's possibly my ADHD where I can't change my layout midweek if that makes sense. I know so many people who can, and I'm really so envious of that. I really, really wish that I could. Um, all right. So about this particular spread. So you can see all this white space here. I don't generally like that in a journal type of spread. I don't mind so much when I've got, like I was doing it, you know, last, not yeah, last month where I have, you know, everything down, like my full boxes down the side and other boxes and everything else. I don't generally mind white space there, but not during when, not when I'm trying to do like a journal type of planner spread. Okay, so moving in to Tuesday where I've got my snake here. This is probably my favorite day so far that I have done because this day I am representing uh, one of my favorite bands from the 90s, which was Godsmack and the song is Voodoo. And this is one of the songs that I never knew was considered metal. I genuinely thought it was just grunge rock, you guys. Like I had no idea. And when I was going through Wiki, I was like, wow, really? Really? This is metal? <laughs> Apparently it's considered, I think it's new metal or it's thrash metal. I don't, I don't remember. I should have probably written that down. I don't remember. But yeah, I was absolutely floored. I really just thought it was alternative rock, like grunge rock music. But anyway, not, not that it matters because I still love it. And I was like totally obsessed with them all the way through like they, all their popular period of the 90s and into the, I think into the 2000s as well. I was like utterly obsessed. So much so actually, because I was living in Connecticut at the time, I turned 20 in the um, late, no, uh, mid, mid 90s, I turned 20. At the time there was an Ozfest. I think, I, I don't remember if it was like my 20th year or it might've, I don't know, it was like somewhere in my twenties, my early twenties anyway. They had Ozfest, which came to Connecticut, which was very, very similar to like, um, I think it was very similar to like Woodstock, but they had a lot of rock bands and metal bands and stuff. And um, it was Oz, it was called Ozfest and we went, and I think it was like a three day, it was either, yeah, I think it was a three day thing from like Friday through Sunday. And we spent the whole weekend there, wherever at the location, I can't remember where that was, somewhere in Connecticut. And I absolutely loved it. It was so good because Godsmack were playing live and they were the reason among some of the other bands, but they were the primary reason that I wanted to go to that. And it was so much fun. I had such a great time and it was, um, I really, really, really wish that I could remember things a little bit more clearly, but that was like in a very bad period in my life. And so I've blocked out a lot of that actually, which is very unfortunate. And I'm so mad that I don't have photos from that time period either, because it would have been so good to look back on those photos. We didn't have cell phones or anything back then. So it's not like, you know, I, I had a phone that was, you know, could take photos or video or anything. I just had like a standard camera, but um, yeah, it just would have been so nice to be able to look back on those and sort of relive the memories. I'm kind of bummed that I don't have photos from that period. And I don't even remember if we took photos or if that was stuff that I left when I bailed out of that relationship. It was a very abusive relationship, which I touched on very briefly in another video. And um, yeah, when I, when I left that relationship, I pretty much left everything. I left my life behind and I just like skipped out because I was, I wanted to survive, you know? But anyway, um, so here I am for yesterday. This was Tuesday and I'm just writing down my dailies and then my tasks. And I didn't really have too much in the way of tasks to get done yesterday. My primary task, which I failed at, <laughs> was finishing the voiceover for this video. I actually did start and I didn't like how it turned out. I've restarted this voiceover. Like I don't even want to tell you how many times it was ridiculous. And I've come to decide I don't like doing voiceovers actually because I forget information and it's it's I much prefer doing it like as a process video, I much prefer talking during a process video. So here I'm trying to decide where I want to have my chores sticker. And I have gotten, I don't know if I told you guys or not, but I got some uh, removable sticker paper and it's so great. It won't stay down. As you can see, it just keeps popping right up. <laughs> it will not stay down. And it has no, it's got nothing to do with the fact that it's on washi tape. It does exactly the same thing on normal paper. So I end up deciding that I'm not going to use it because it was bothering the crap out of me that it kept coming up. And I didn't want to have to glue it down or, you know, tape it down or anything like that. So I was just like, oh, it's fine. I'll just rip it up and like, see, I'm pushing it down again because I can see that it's coming up on the tape when it's really starting to bother me. It won't stay down. So I pretty much just decide I'll screw this. It's coming up. It's going in the bin and I'm going to pretend that this whole thing just didn't exist. And this is again, why I love my pen so much. This is a pilot friction erasable in 0.7 millimeters. And I love this pen. It's, it's just great. You can erase all your mistakes. Like they didn't even happen. It's wonderful. So I just added the dishwasher task or yeah, chore to my task list, I guess. And I'm just going to tick off everything that I've already gotten done. And then some of the stuff I haven't had a chance to get done because it was early in the morning when I was recording. So moving into Wednesday, I haven't finished 
between Monday and Tuesday actually because I have a tip in that I'll put in at the end of the video. I didn't want to do it while I was actually doing all of my deco and like the bones of every single day, like setting up every day because I didn't want to write on the vellum and potentially have ink go through on the other page, if that makes sense. So yeah, uh, today we're doing, or sorry, for Wednesday actually, um, I am doing, what is this, Smashing Pumpkins, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Smashing Pumpkins. Um, this is the song Zero. It's one of my favorite songs by them. In fact, the Smashing Pumpkins is just... They're one of my greatest bands, like one of my favorite bands ever. I love them and I loved Billy Corgan. Oh my God, anybody else relate? Please tell me I'm not the only one. He was so hot back in the 90s. He's actually not that bad looking now. I was talking to my friend Lisa about this the other day and I was saying how much I really liked him and you know, I thought he was like hot as F and she was just like, oh, I wonder what he looks like now. And I'm like, well, I, I had seen a photo of him and it wasn't very flattering at all. And I was like, I don't think he's aged very well. You know, I actually felt a little bit bad saying that because I had such a major crush on him. And then she found a photo that actually made him look really good. And I was like, what the hell kind of crash crap am I looking at? So <laughs> turns out he actually hasn't aged so badly at all. And um, yeah, apparently he's got like two kids now or something. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Um, okay. So Thursday is also uh, one of my all-time favorite bands. This song is called Psychopomp and it is by the band The Tea Party. They are a Canadian rock band and I absolutely fell in love with them in the very late 90s. I want to say it was like 98 or 99 and they came out with a song called Heaven Coming Down and it was like a really big hit for them. It was one of their biggest hits actually. And when I first heard this, and I don't even remember the the app, the streaming app I was using, it wasn't Pandora and it wasn't LimeWire. No, LimeWire wasn't a streaming service. I can't remember the streaming service I was listening to, but anyway, I was at work and I heard this and I was like, oh, this is like the best song. I became utterly obsessed. And from that point I went back and I found every single Tea Party song that I could possibly find. And I had, we, I bought all the albums because that's how much I love them. And that's not something that I typically do, to be honest. Like I do not typically buy like every single album, even if I like them. Um, typically I don't buy all of the albums unless I fully become, I guess, immersed, I guess, in the band. Like, I don't know what else to, like, I don't know how else to explain it, but the Tea Party I was just fully in love with. And I've, I've loved just about every single one of their songs. I was actually able to see them live in concert right before COVID actually. Well, not right before it was like 20, 2018, I think 2018 or 2017 or something. I genuinely don't even remember. Um, but yeah, like I got to see them in concert when they came to Australia and they were down in Cooley and it was, oh, it was like the best. It was utterly the best time of it was just such a good show they just put on such a great show and um yeah I just absolutely love Jeff Martin he's the lead singer and he plays ooh, he plays some instrument guitar possibly um but yeah he just amazing I'm not obsessed with them as much anymore I've sort of moved on now with an obsession but yeah at the time I was absolutely obsessed and I, they were my favorite band for like 15 years not even kidding like I listened to them constantly all right so this is uh Friday and this song is Freak on a Leash by Korn and it was one of the biggest songs I listened to a lot actually in the 90s uh, and I love this photo actually when I was trying to find a photo that I thought would go well with the lyrics or some of the lyrics of this song I really had a hard time I was looking for something that was dark and a little bit scary and I found this one and I fell in love with it and I just put the lyrics at the top of it because I thought it just it just goes so well. And this is the sort of drawing that I want to learn how to do properly. So this is actually part of the reason that I took a Udemy drawing course was so that I could learn how to draw creepy things, <laughs> for lack of a better term, I guess. Yeah, I just, I love this type of drawing. I think it's great. And it just, it, I don't know, it resonates with me. And this is the sort of drawings that I want to do. And I really don't know what that says about me. I'm gonna, I'm just not even gonna explore that to be completely honest. But yeah, that's the sort of drawing that I'm, I, you know, I want to learn how to do. So the weekend now uh, is going to be divided uh, pro quite appropriately, I think, with the song Butterfly by Crazy Town. I remember this being such a big song, like everybody loved this song. And a guy that I was crushing on at the time, who was also crushing on me, kind of dedicated, not, I mean, it was like an unspoken dedication <laughs> for me, to me, I should say, because um, he was constantly like sending this to me because we had uh, whatever I am program we were using at work. And he would constantly send me every time, every time this song came on, because we both use the same streaming service, uh, he would just message me and he would be like, oh, he would message me a lyric or he would just, you know, um, I am me the, the song or, you know, I don't know whatever it was we were doing at the time. I don't even remember, but yeah, it, it was, it was crazy. And I, my God, I always used to get like the biggest grin when he would like message me this sort of stuff too. <laughs> it was like crazy. Um, but fun fact, he was actually the one who introduced me to the Smashing Pumpkins. So I remember he came into work one day and he gave me the CD and it was the, 
Machina, Machina, Machines of God album. And he's like, listen to this. And he told me to listen to a couple of tracks in particular, which I did. Like those were the first ones I listened to straight off the bat. And the message was like super loud and clear. And I was like, oh, 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 <laughs> couldn't do anything, unfortunately. But yeah, um, it, it was a good time. And anyway, he, he introduced me to the Smashing Pumpkins. And so from that, I just basically went back and I listened to a lot of their songs. I fell in love with a lot of their songs. A lot of it I really didn't like either, but that's what I was saying before about how I don't normally go and buy everybody's albums if I like the band. Like I won't go and buy every single album because a lot of the times I don't like every single song on the albums or I don't like enough songs on enough albums to purchase them, if that makes sense. So I basically just listen to them on a streaming service. Uh, but with um, the Tea Party, I liked enough of them that I wanted. And the same thing with Prince, actually, up until the Crystal Ball. I, uh, I liked enough songs on enough albums that it was worth buying. So are you guys the same way? You have to have like you have to like enough songs on enough albums to buy them or enough songs on any particular album in order to buy it. Or if you just like the artist, you'll just buy the album just to support them, regardless of whether or not you like all the songs. Let me know because I would be really interested. So this little washi is another one that I picked up from AliExpress. It came in like this really big bundle of washi, actually. And I want to say they're five meter rolls. They're definitely not three, but I think they're five meter rolls. So that's a really good size, actually. It's bigger than a sample size, because I consider a three meter roll to be a sample size, because you go through it so fast. So I think these are five, I don't think these are 10, I think these are five meter rolls. So I was really happy to, you know, pick up a whole bunch of them. And I really like narrow washi anyway, because they're great for like little dividers, like I'm doing right here. They're, they're great to just to divide spaces within your, you know, your page of your planner. So when, and especially when you don't want to use like a big thick one, or even like even a five millimeter, and you just want something a little bit thinner, because I think these are about uh, two or three millimeter like wide, like fat, if that makes sense. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna be putting, I'm gonna be tipping in my tip-ins. <laughs> so I made these in Canva. This one, obviously voodoo for um, Godsmack. And I absolutely love how this turned out. This is probably one of my favorite dashboards I've made actually. And I have to be completely honest with you, when I was making this dashboard, I was listening to them on YouTube. I actually went to their channel. I completely forgot they even had a channel and I went directly to the channel and I was binge watching all of the video clips, sorry, not video clips, music videos to all the songs that I loved and obsessed over back then. And I had completely forgotten, completely forgotten how hot this guy was. Like I had completely forgotten that for some reason. I just, I had a type, you guys, I had a type and it was bald heads and amazing goatees and like scruff on the face and oh and like piercings like I'm still to this day I'm still like mm -hmm. like I'll still look and I still enjoy <laughs> unfortunately my husband doesn't have any piercings or anything like that but he does have a bald head and he does generally keep his goatee for me or a beard actually I've like transitioned into loving full-on beards like full-on viking style beards like it's a thing. So anyway, uh, the next day I'm actually doing the Smashing Pumpkins. This is Bullet with Butterfly Wings. And I'm so annoyed I screwed up the lyric on this. I didn't even pay attention. I was not even thinking when I did it. So the actual lyric says, and I still believe that I cannot be saved. And I forgot to put that in there. So my lyric says, and I still believe I can't be saved or I cannot be saved. So I was so annoyed when I looked back at that and I was like, oh, but I wasn't going to reprint it. So, and I really, really like that bullet with butterfly wings on it. Like that, that image, which I just pulled off Google, actually, all of the images that I have found, I know I've been very bad about that, but all of the images that I found, I just pulled off Google. I just Googled like generally the song lyric, actually. Um, although in this case, I actually Googled bullet with butterfly wings because I wanted a bullet with butterfly wings <laughs> to represent the smashing pumpkins which is another one of my favorite songs so I have just I decided for this actually that if I wasn't going to pick uh, a song from a band that I loved to do an actual like spread around that then I would just find something to use as a dashboard or a divider just so that I could have well I mean so I could have more deco <laughs> but also because I wanted to represent you know a song or or the band that I really really loved but I just wanted to do like more than just one spread if that makes sense Although in this particular case, I just liked that that corn album cover thing. It wasn't an album cover, actually. I think this possibly was fan art that I found, but I really just liked it. And so, yeah, I just want to, <laughs> I wanted to use it as a dashboard. And I really like that, actually, to be honest. I really, really like how that turned out. So I'm going to do a final flip, starting with my weekly overview and my splash page with a piece of acetate dividing them, the little star acetate. My Monday and Tuesday, Monday being Enter Sandman by Metallica and a voodoo inspired dashboard. My voodoo inspired daily, my Smashing Pumpkins daily and matching dashboard. My Tea Party inspired daily and corn, Freak on a Leash and of course Crazy Town Butterfly. And that does it for this week's spread. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye everybody.